The park I researched was Banff National Park. So how did the park actually become a park? In 1883, hot springs at the foot of Sulphur Mountain were discovered by three railway workers. The potential of the Canadian Rockies immediately appealed to the railway workers with the possibility of the national park serving as a hot spot for tourists worldwide, thus opening up the doors to investments. And after heated ownership disputes, the springs and its surrounding areas were labeled Canada's first national park by 1885. So where is it located? Southwest Alberta, Canada, where that red dot is. The mountain ranges located within Banff National Park is the Rocky Mountains. And I have two fun facts for you. Before Banff became Banff, it was originally named Rocky Mountain Park. And the American Rockies are made up of mostly metamorphic and igneous rock. And this is relevant because the Canadian Rockies are not made up of those minerals. So Banff National Park has a lot of geologic features, such as U-shaped valleys due to the weathering and erosion, glaciers, ice fields, hot springs, lakes, but most importantly, the Continental Divide. So the Rocky Mountains that reside in National Park were formed aside the Continental Divide, and the Continental Divide determines whether water will flow to the Pacific or the Atlantic Ocean, and that's really important for the watersheds. Another geologic formation is hot springs, and they it's kind of ironic because that is what got Banff to become Banff. Um, hot springs are specific areas of water that have usually significantly higher temperatures in the surrounding areas because the water is heated by geothermal energy from the Earth's core. And this is a really old picture of guys swimming in hot springs. <laughs> so the Rockies form from the subduction of a continent to ocean convergent plate boundary. The Canadian Rockies in particular are composed of the sedimentary rock, including shale, sandstone, limestone, and quartzite, and the sediments originally um, deposited in the shallow inland seas back in the Precambrian eon. Um, this slide is just to put in perspective um, the, the Precambrian eon and the Jurassic period were when all the geologic formations of Banff National Park were actually formed. So it kind of makes you think of how old the park actually is. A huge environmental issue in Banff National Park, and not only Banff but all around the world, is poachers and their threat to wildlife. For those of you that don't know, poaching is illegal hunting to meet the demands of international trade. And basically, poachers are where the money are. They see that they can make this huge profit off of killing animals and taking what they need um, and selling it. And they make really good money. And that's exactly their motives is to make money. Um, in Banff National Park, though, a lot of trophy animals to poach are sheep, elk, moose, deer, goats, and bears. They all fetch very high prices. Um, but also, oddly enough, fetuses, antlers, hooves, and tails of deer, elk, and caribou, um, the feathers of eagles, and also gallbladders, paws, and claws, and teeth of bears. So bears are going extinct um, very much so in Banff and also all around the world because of the high demand through poaching and such. So the federal government um, is introducing an act uh, called the Wild Animal and Plant Protection Act. And under this act, the federal government controls the import, export, and transport of wild animals and plants. There's also community-based anti-poaching programs like Banff's National Park Wildlife Watch and Alberta's Report a Poacher that kind of makes poachers think twice about what they're doing. Another environmental issue in Banff National Park and also parks around the world is animals going extinct in general, whether it be um, deforestation, uh, building of roads, climate change, habitat loss. In general, um, especially in Banff, these animals are going extinct. Wolverine, grizzly bear, whooping crane, beard leechin, woodland caribou, and slipper flower. Um, 
obviously the government is going to do exactly what they need to do to try and reduce the extinction of these animals, but a lot of these animals are being extinct because of other humans due to hunting. Um, like I said, deforestation and just the building of more things. Um, Banff in general is a very big hot spot and thousands and thousands of people come there every summer to have a good vacation and it's a wonderful place. However, the government keeps getting revenue and they keep building and building and building and tearing down habitats and building more roads and um, more climate change is happening that is melting the glaciers, um, having or causing rise in sea level. So those are the two environmental issues that I re researched the most throughout Banff National Park, but they certainly are very prevalent in national parks around the world. And here's my citations.